Hello, welcome to my channel, Claudia Mir here again, and today with the Hike Vision camera, saving files to a folder, pictures to a folder on my computer, basically a shared folder on my PC, okay? So let me show you here the picture menu, and I can come here to this interface and select from yesterday to today and search all the pictures that I have recorded on the shared folder. That's the interface you can communicate from the camera to the computer. As you can see here, I have a lot of picture, 100, on the first page, I have more of them, more than 1,000, okay? Let me just come to the latest one here and click download so you can see that I have the pictures recorded there. So I just open it up here and here we go. I have the folders here with different pictures, okay? As you can see here, the time, 7.23.54, okay? It's about now, a few seconds ago. Let me just close this down and let me show here the folder that I have. That's the folder I have here on my computer, Rec1. So basically, uh, from time to time, the camera is sending pictures to be saved here on this folder. That's the idea. So let me just show you how to do that here on configuration. You need to look for the menu here, storage management, okay? And net hard drive, okay? Here I have, uh, the server IP address, that's my computer, 192.168.0.160. That's the folder that I was talking about, Rec1, okay? The type is NAS, and here I can select the, the type of protocol I'm going to use, NFS or SMB slash SIFS. That's the case for a shared folder on the computer, SMB slash SIFS, okay? You select this, and here's the username that I have on, on the computer and the password because the camera needs to use this username and password to connect to the computer. The camera is going to say, hey, computer, here I have files to be saved there. And here's the username, the password that I'm going to use to get access to this shared folder here, okay? So you must have this user created on your computer or use yours, doesn't matter, right? And be careful. Uh, also with the server address, we have here 192.168.0.160 is the, in the same range of the camera, right? Here I have the camera 192.168.0.64, same IP range. And as soon as you do this and you click test here, so basically uh, the camera is communicating here and testing, you see testing succeed, so it's working. And when you hit save, it saves the configuration and we come here to hard drive management and here we go. You have your storage ready to go. Okay, the, the first time you do that, you need to check here and format the hard drive, meaning it's going to format here the folder that you created here on your computer, okay? I'm not using the C drive because I have everything here on the C drive, all my files, windows, whatever. So I'm using another one here and I just created the folder here, okay? After you create the folder, you need to come here and share this folder, okay? Let me just show an example here. When I create the folder, I just create, let's say, Rec2, just an example, and I right click, properties, and I come here on sharing, share, and here I look for the user. When I type here, hike vision, I click add, you see I have the user here, so Windows can find it, and here I change from read to read write, okay? And just click here, share. Windows share this folder, and when I click here, it shows me the folder that I have shared here in this PC, Rec1 and Rec2 that, that I just created, right? So that's it, you just need to share the folder, it's done, okay? That's the step you have to do here, and also create the user. If you don't have the user there on your computer, just type here, user, on the Windows search bar, look for add, edit, or remove other users. Here you see I have Hike Vision as a user here. If you don't have a user here, just click here and don't create a Microsoft account. You don't need to, just click here to skip the part. And here, add a user without a Microsoft account, just a local user. Here, username and password, you create it and you're ready to go, just like I have here, Hike Vision user, okay? So back here to the camera. Okay, again, you come here with the server IP address, the file path, and username and password for Hike Vision user, and that's it, it's working, okay? So pretty simple, and then um, 
You need to do also the schedule settings here, pretty important. You already have your hard drive ready to go. You format your hard drive and ju just come here to schedule settings. And um, here you have record schedule. Don't click on that, that's for recording. You're, you're not recording video now, you're just sending pictures from your camera to your PC. So come here to the capture menu. Here, it's a little bit confusing. Here's continuous. Uh, that means only that you have from Monday to Sunday, you're going to send the pictures uh, 24 hours a day here from zero to 24, that's the idea. And then you come here to capture parameters and here you enable timing snapshot. JPEGs, the picture, the resolution and uh, quality, you can select from high, low or median. And here's the interval, 1000 millisecond. That means a second, or you can change here and choose second, that's the same thing, right? And you just save here. And then the camera is going to send a picture every single second to your hard drive on your computer, to the shared network, okay? You just hit save here and you're ready to go. Okay, save, succeed. And from this menu, then you can check all the pictures there. Okay, let me just check again from yesterday to today. As you can see here, as I'm working, uh, the system keeps capturing more and more pictures, right? Let's see the latest one here. You see 129, that's a lot of them. It's capturing every single second, it's a lot of pictures. I d just download here and here we go. Okay, let me see, is this latest one? Yeah, seven. 29.56, okay? We are now 7.30, a few seconds ago, so it's working, okay? So that's it, guy, it's working. Uh, you can just share your folder there in your computer and save the picture from your camera, okay? That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. See you in the next video.